Mr. Keith, I will be teaching you how to properly drum, mostly technique today, but maybe next time we'll actually get into some more, uh, you know, the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you don't already have a pair of sticks, I would recommend getting a pair of sticks, so I'll wait. We got it. All right. Also a drum pad. Now, y'all can make fun of me all you want in the comment section if you like, but uh, your boy's waiting on his drum pad to arrive from Amazon. We know it. Corona. We... <laughs> Am I right? So today we'll be using Mr. Keith's passport uh, thingy. Yeah, that's what I'll be coming on today. Hopefully you have a real drum pad. If not, get one. They're pretty. You know, it's it's a valuable. Um, investment. But first, today's drumming exclusion comes with Where the Sidewalk Ends. This is a book I recommend um, to anyone. Shel Silverstein is the dude. He writes poems and this was one of my childhood favorite books. So get off of YouTube after this video and read. This is what I'm reading. Hungry Mungry is my favorite if you haven't heard of it. In this video, we're just going to talk about techniques, then as we progress into our future videos, we'll get more in depth. And since because I don't have, currently, a valid drum pad with me. So first, you have two sticks, right? So you'll see these are Vic Firth. Um, obviously, there's all types of different brands, but if you look, there's an I in Firth. And that's about where your thumbs will go. So about right here on each stick, okay? That's what it looks like. And so then when you wrap your fingers around, you'll have this much of what's called the butt. Get your laughs out. <laughs> this much of the butt sticking out. <laughs> and then about that much of the stick in both hands. After we get our stick grip, we want to make sure that all of our other fingers are attached to the stick. Now, I see a lot of drummers that drum like this. And they think they're doing something. Yeah. Doesn't even look remotely right, right? So, make sure that your all of your fingers are on the stick, like so. Another common mistake is drumming like this. Now, if you can comment below right now and tell me what I am doing wrong here, I will give you a shout out in the next video. What, what's wrong with this right here? Exactly. Your wrists need to be turned over. Your knuckles should be flat. Not this. Okay? Again, all the fingers on the stick, knuckles flat. You should make a V with your sticks. Um, it's kind of hard to see at this angle of cameraage, but in my future video, I'll have a better setup. I'll have actual marching sticks. I'll have a drum pad. Shout out to John Mahon for these um, American classic Rock Vic Grip sticks. Um, if you don't know John Mahon, he is a phenomenal drummer for a, I don't know, shoot, vintage band, maybe uh, Elton John. There we go. <laughs> so, John Mahon is a drummer for Elton John. Elton John, I don't know, I always want to say John Mayer, but he, uh, he gave, presented, presented, gave me these sticks. So, appreciate you, bro. Once, once we have that, another common mistake that I see with drummers. They'll, they'll, they'll have their stick grip right, they'll have their fingers engaged, and they'll start off, um, you know, their hands or their knuckles are flat, and slow. You can be at 15 inches. That's fine. But when they get faster, if 
you notice my hands, what do you see wrong? Comment below with what you see wrong. Yes, exactly. My fingers came off the stick. So, how do we fix that? First, you heard me say 15 inches. In future videos, you're going to hear me talk about stick height um, and then inches of the stick height. So 15 is as far back as your wrist basically can go. Um, okay. Um, then you'll hear 12, which isn't quite 15, but it's about right here, 12 inches. But 12, and then you have about 9, and you have about 6, and you have 3. Okay, so it just it depends. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, so when I say inches, that's what I mean. Um, another phrase that you're going to hear me talk about is tacit. Okay, say it with me. Tacit. Isn't that a fun word to say? Say it one more time. Tacit. Okay, and that referring to your tacit hand is the hand that is not playing. If I'm playing all right hand, and then it's time for my left hand to come in, and one, two, ready, and oh shoot, I was late because my tacit hand wasn't ready. So we want to make sure that both hands, regardless if they're playing or not, are always ready. It should be... Make sense? Okay. Make sure your tacit hand stays. Don't let the other hand that's not playing wander, okay? So, we got our stick grip, we got all of our fingers engaged, we have our knuckles flat, we have our stick, um, making sure that our fingers don't come off the stick the faster we get, okay? And how we do that is when the tempo increases, our stick height decreases. Say that with me. When the tempo increases, our stick heights decrease. One more time, ready, and when the tempo increases, the stick height decreases. I like that again. Ready, and when the tempo increases, our stick height decreases. One last time, I promise I know, and when the tempo increases, our stick height decreases. Okay, so again, you can be at 39 inches at this tempo, right? But the faster we go, you notice it's not all the way back past my head right now, right? And now it's barely getting at my head, right? And now, notice. So now I'm at about three, about six, about 9, 12, 15, and 39. It's not a real measurement, but um, just for reference, I suppose. All right, so um, yeah, good job. I'm proud of you. Give yourself a round of applause. Go ahead. No, you got to be better than me. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. So um, just keeping in mind, like, it's okay to have fun with this. This is something you should have fun with. But if it's something you want to take seriously, then take it seriously. So in, in our future videos, you find I went too fast. There's this beautiful thing called the pause button. Right? So pause it if you need to. And work on it. And then pick it back up when you're ready to move on. But make sure that you know, you are practicing, because that's important. Like, you can't be good if you don't practice. Unfortunately, that's how it goes. Um, you may have a natural talent, but take it from someone who was the king of natural talent, it runs out. There will, there's always going to be someone better, and they're going to make you feel like, well, shoot. So, 
always practice. Be the best you can be. Be the best at what you want to do. Everything else will fall in line. One last review of this course. Making sure that our hands, if you have Vic Firth sticks, it's, this is perfect. You don't have to guess, but it's about this far is where your thumbs go, where the eyes are. And just wrap your fingers around. Don't squeeze. Never squeeze your fists together because you will never be able to. Okay? Make sure that your wrists, your knuckles are flat. Okay? No. no none of this. I don't know what that is. Don't, don't do that. That's not good. Okay? Uh, flat knuckles. Um, and also, no, don't arm drum. You gotta get a mixture between your wrist and your arm, okay? So it's not all arm and it's not all wrist. There's a find that nice fluid in between, okay? Um, remember your tacit hand, which is the which is what the hand that's not playing. Good job. That's your tacit hand. So this is my tacit hand. Now this is my tacit hand, okay? Then. Um, we have our stick heights. Remember, three, three, six, nine, twelve, and whatever number you want to call that. Okay. And I advise practicing with a metronome because we as humans are not perfect in any way, including me, who's been drumming for fifteen years now. Um, I still practice with a metronome, so. And it's not because I can't count or keep rhythm or nothing like that. It's just to be sure, you know. So, I leave you with, with that. Um, again, thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe, I think. Um, like the video, comment, tell me what you liked about it, what you disliked about it. Um, and let me know if you have any suggestions. And... Oh, hit the bell. The bell. Um, that'll let you know when it'll give you a notification when I post another video. And I can't wait to see y'all soon. Peace. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Ah!